order food. Yeah, I forgot about this possibility when I was here before, so I might as well get this here. That's good. I feel like I could lift mountains. Hey, want to see me try? If it's food related, I'm Gold there. Drop. Interesting. Break time's over. Probably not heavily important, though. Huh. It feels hard to justify buying something that's literally, I have 14 of these. <laughs> How much money? So, okay. Okay, let, let, let's see this. Relief bean. Okay. Wait, no, 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 no. Is that my mint? Come on. Let's try nope. not to nope. Nope. our nope. money Relief away. bean was 3,000 or something like that, right? So... I could sell it for 26. Oh my goodness, that markup. <laughs> my goodness. You'll note that the annihilation effect has caused a certain warping in the landscape around here. We can't predict when the phenomenon will occur, but the black fog sometimes uh, presages it. Best to stay away from it. Presage, I'm guessing, is before? Okay, comes before. Okay. Interesting. So the black fog is associated with it, but it comes before it. Which in itself doesn't exactly line up with my theory. So, that's an interesting thought. I think so, at least. Uh, the monsters are even reaching Baron Knoll, apparently. One of the guys got attacked recently, too. We gotta do something in fast. Hmm. Got some use. So, just as we finish off solving the resources problem, back a monster shows up. Yeah, I missed that. Said they deal with it, but we should help, right? And how long are we supposed to hold their hands? Have you forgotten that the uh, what we're actually meant to be doing? What? No, of course not. We're only trekking back like the significant journey to go back to Colony Nine. The like the journey that's supposed to take us months to get through. We're only tracking back a significant portion of it just to go do a Colony Nine side quest. Of course we didn't forget. Colony Four to solve uh, problems for Colony Four to solve. Ethel said as much. And we're outsiders. The more we meddle, the more they'll be on guard against us. You think that's what we've been doing? It's just, uh, you think what we've been doing is just meddling? Meddling, not meddling. Who cares as long as we're helping? The actions you believe to be correct don't always lead to good outcomes. I think I remember Ethel saying that. Yes, but think about it. Doesn't it mean that if you don't take the action in the first place, you can't know if it's good or bad? I think that's, yeah, I think that's a fair approach. Oh. Yo, yo. She's right, is what she is. Sitting here wringing our hands won't do anything. Colony 4 gang or, uh, Going to be at Baron Knoll, right? That ain't far. We can at least, you know, look in on them. Make sure they're handling themselves. I agree with Uni. Tie on. No objections. It's a logical conclusion following what I originally said. I... <laughs> it is weird. I, I do relate to Tie on probably the most out of any character in the series at the moment. Uh, the people who, like, hate him as the character, too, are probably going to be like... Yeah, I can see it. I can see it. <laughs> what? Okay, so legitimately, the enemies were just too low. The, okay. the enemies spawned for the event were just too low level to, like, attack me, so it was locked. That's fun. Hmm. hmm. Never actually found this location before. Hey, look. They're dying. Yep, let's help. What? You? I'm saying she can wait. You can take it from here. Accuracy down is the most important thing here. Actually down is like a really fucking good thing. It's like, this is like, I haven't played with the other ones a ton, but my goodness.
There we go. How's everyone? No injuries? Why did you help us? Why wouldn't we? Do we need a reason? Well, Agnes helping out Kevis, it's unheard of, isn't it? We're well past that point. We are so well past that point. Do you not get it yet? We do not trust you. Don't care. We can still help you. Mimi, it's him. Oh, you again. You just don't die, do you? Oh, I mean, you got pretty close yourself, didn't you? We heard you were in close with the commander. But that doesn't mean anyone else in Colony 4 trusts you. We're not trying to win your trust. You just needed help. What did you say? I don't care about obligations. I just don't want to turn my back on anyone who fights for others. That's why we stepped in. No more reason than that. So you act in accordance with your principles, that's it? <laughs> well, that's the best lie an Agnes lover like you can come up with. Sorry, we overstepped our bounds, we'll go. Uh, okay, fine. I approve of Ethel's judgment. I apologize for what I said before. I was just trying to test you. Oh, come on, Maxie. What are you saying? Commander trusted you from the start. We have a duty to abide by your wishes. We heard about the thing with the medical supplies. That was all you. Anyway, we may as well introduce ourselves now. I'm Maxie, tactician squad leader. Good lad, Maxie. Uh, so, what kind of test were you talking about earlier? We wanted to use this as an opportunity to make sure of something. Whether we can entrust our mission to, well... Uh, what? Captain, you mean your strategy was aimed at them? I was pretty sure you'd pass. Or not overhear the rumor? <laughs> Wait, are you serious right now? Them? Jeremy, I'm not saying this makes up for the past. We can't forget that we're fighting for the living. We're in a critical situation. We need to break out of it while we can. We've got just a plan to do it. Really? I want you to help to make it happen. Are you sure about this? I'll be frank, we don't have the firepower. We're busy showing up colony defense, so taking out some enemies will help us. But more than that, I thought that proving your sincerity to everyone would be inspiring. I see. There's some days yet before the operation begins, so just think it over. Right. Interesting. So do we open up another quest with that? Or do I just need to go back and like talk to him or something? Probably something like that. Would you believe it? Tactician squad. So I'm guessing this is it given the tactician squad. Uh right then, I guess that means final time for you know what? Achieving something. Plan. We need to lay all this out. What? I wonder what Max's plan is, and what he's trying to achieve, or anything. Whatever it is, he trusts us now, right? Something to celebrate. Yeah, that's. Uh, it's good to know that we haven't just been yelling into the void. We're useful. That said, not everyone was happy. That Jeremy lad, he's probably been through a lot. And Max, he said it himself, not everyone's ready to be besties with us. In which case, is it wide to take him at his word? I think we should. Must, even. He's worried about Colony 4, naturally. And we can resolve the misunderstandings about us, as Maxie said. Well said, Mimi. Act first, worry later, yeah? Yeah, there's no point rehashing it. We just need to do what we believe is right. I don't see anything... Uh, I don't see any reason why not. Why not? Why not to just go ahead with that? Oh, there's multiple here. Ah, uh, here from the Noban Maintenance hasn't come back yet. I'm starting to think they could have gone a wall. The new one for maintenance, that can't be. They wouldn't have anywhere to go if they did that. Interesting. Can't underestimate a bit of good what do you think, Jeremy? Oh, it's that guy. <laughs> I didn't even realize that was his name. Doesn't matter what Max just says, you Agni and Skelm are still the enemy as far as I'm concerned. Don't be getting any funny ideas while you're here, okay? Or else. Mimi, um, should we move along here, maybe? Yes, all right. No, man, I want to, I want to, ooh, he still has that above him. 
Where did the flame clock getting smashed has spread to other colonies now, I'm sure. All your enemies will be tightening security too, thanks to that little stunt. You only got yourselves to blame here. Hey, lay off us already. After everything we've done for you. You need, don't let him rile you up. It's exactly what he wants. Oh, I want to go back and forth with him. Uh, running out of fumes if we keep this up. Have those new supplies still not arrived. Right. She was trying to work that out. Apologize. I'm, I will go make an inquiry to the procurement division right away. Interesting. Irritation. I hope that's a quest about STDs. I don't know why that's the first thing my mind went to, but... Wait, you're really going to accept? <laughs> Come on, mate! You're the one who brought it up! <sighs> Strange of me to say, but it's quite a selfish request. Nothing I could have done if you changed your minds, though. Do you trust us a bit now? And I do. I've learned not to be so hasty in judging people. So, what's the plan? Essentially, there are three monsters to take out. But not essentially. It won't be easy, which is why it came to us. Good guess. These three are pretty big deals. They control all the monsters around the colony perimeter. We'd say they're the boss monsters. We scattered out their lairs, but Colony 4 doesn't have the firepower to spare on extermination mission right now. Pulling all the squads who are meant to be protecting the colony would be pretty backwards. But as long as these bosses are running wild, you can't resolve the monster attacks. Exactly, so I think you can do it. You can try. I've no depends what level they are, I guess. Want to know more? Talk to the scouts. Jeremy. Lauren and Yord. Okay. Talk to two of them on the way here. Uh, yeah, look. If Jeremy, that motherfucker, gives you any grief, report it to me and I'll deal with him. <laughs> First order of business is to talk to those three scouts. Got it. Okay. They're all in interesting. This is elaborate. This feels like it's building up to something bigger, considering it's a considering it's a quest line. Oh, they changed locations. How sad. Kevin's already briefed me. Give you the details. Uh, it's evolved bigger than the normal one. It covers a wide territory, extremely agile. It analyzes its movements to confirm Pianto Basin is inside of its lair. That's about it. Okay. That's all we needed, really. Thank you. Okay, well, we are underleveled for this. 29. Interesting. Okay, acknowledged. Underleveled, got it. That, that, that's how... I'm gonna go do this level 22 one first. Oh, hey, look! I bet to send Levels on. have increased. Isn't that nice to see? Level 29's over here now. Uh, not long ago, a space with red smoky fumes, a container with many sparkly thingies with to get grubby wings on, so a supply drop. So Jenny usually crowded with Kevin's acting soldiers. Yeah. It's all making Never sense. Never had a supply drop before. Supply drops, completely new concept, right? Huh. Coordinated, but ineffective. Hey, it's you. Oh no! Uh. Spark's sake, Zeon! You lose yourself to emotion. Some special forces you are. You shut your trap. What a joke! You consider me the joke, do you? Really now? Hey, isn't he? Yeah, he's our friend from Colony 9. That's where you're wrong. You're traitors. You're no friends of mine. Yeah. Zeon, just listen. We don't want to. Drop it, you. Negotiation doesn't appear to be on the table. So he me? does recognize this, at least. Arrest the 
coats. So we have to fight. Oh well. Inevitable. Honestly. Oh, this is fun. I wonder what they think of our big, like, transform forms. That has to seem like demonic drum. I feel like it's gotta. Uh, I'm gonna guess probably... Probably not, right? Oh, barely! Okay. Oh, this is gonna be close to finishing it. One more big attack. Okay. Not bad. I do feel like I'm getting much more of a hang of it. Commander, please respond. What's wrong? Enemy attack! Agnian forces! Wonder what's going on. <sighs> Commander? Yes. I'm thinking. Hey, what did you just say? Zeon's the commander now. Does that mean the old one... There was a change of command. Someone had to take the fall for the traitors. They even dropped our colony rank. We've been so pressed for food, we had to venture out this far. All because of you. Wow. Crap. Go back! We'll take care of things here. I can't allow that. Just get going already! The Agnian Battalion. They're using terrain to cover their approach, am I right? How do you know that? I'm well aware that you don't trust me, I'm just speaking aloud here. We'll intercept the enemy troops. Engage them while they're still advancing. They won't get their hands on the colony. You retreat and shore up your defenses. What are you really after here? Why is it you're fighting? We're both in very different positions now. But that doesn't have to mean everything's changed between us. Oh, well done. A voice of reason. Come off it. Wait. Change of plans. We're bringing them back to the colony. What? Why? You're handing them into the Consul? No. I'm integrating them into our force as the Vanguard. We're fighting with them! Mwamba died because of them! Oh, you want to hear the story now, maybe? We're up against a whole battalion. Hardly the time for us to be picky. It's also possible that Ouroboros have instigated this attack themselves. Ugh, you can't be serious! You know exactly how serious I am. Fire and sparks. Hold up. Let's do as he says. What? Why should we? Just play along. We'll be better able to help protect Colony 9 if we're part of the plan. Plans? <laughs> if you say so. You have good friends. One day I'm gonna crack that thick bonce of yours and really see what makes you tick. I look forward to it. You lot head back and update Kite on the situation. I'll see to these ones. Meet me in command. As you say. <sighs> you said not everything's changed between us. Your words no longer have merit. So let's judge where your allegiance lies by way of your actions. I understand. We won't let you down. Temporarily? Okay. Which I assume kicks... Yeah. Kicks, uh... Fun face. So, what's his... Tank? It, see it did look like a tank. 
Guardian Commander. Defender whose skills shine even brighter in the face of adversity. A ray of hope in the field of battle. The Golden Wings did not give that away. An eye-catching enemy. I won't let any of you die. Never a dull moment, eh? Let's go. Come on, this will be a difficult fight. Come on! You can do it! You can do it! Oh my goodness! Oh, so close on that one. It's actually, even if we're like over leveled for them at this point, because we get the coins, it's like objectively better to make sure we do all of them. Hmm. So just like releasing them from the flame clock wouldn't be like a big boon because they're still just being surrounded and attacked constantly, right? Drop back down to 10. Uh, I mean, with 30 colonies, interesting on the resource front side, that topic. It's an interesting discussion specifically. Ooh. Let's pick up a recipe. It's an interesting discussion. Uh, Time to eat then. Everyone. What, what's like? What's the? Uh, where are they getting basically everything? Right. How much of it is artificial scarcity, and how much of it is like actual scarcity? Thanks ever so much. The world still has its delights. All right, let's get going. Time's away. I wonder what the benefit. I wonder what the benefit is to like spreading these colonies up, like out as much as they have. Because wouldn't it be better being bigger forces, like a bigger group, a bigger army? Hmm. I'm impressed. You didn't run away this time. Well, you don't have big glowy eyes. What did you see last time? Did you still see us? Uh. I'll explain what comes next. The rest of you are dismissed. Stay cool, Kite. I'm always cool. And tell us about Agnes's movements. Right now, they're assembling their forces on Everblight Plain. They've stopped concealing themselves, which feels like cause for concern enough. They're confident they have the numbers for a full assault, then. Or perhaps it's a feint. Or they're just a bunch of dolts who like pretending they have a plan. <laughs> I'm not in the mood for jokes right now. Hey, we need a little levity sometimes. With enough food, we can draw this out. Give the word and we can even launch a raid. I told you, that's not going to happen. It would cost us too many lives. What then? Our troops are hungry, anxious, and quite frankly, more pissed off by the hour. You leave things like this, and we're going to fall apart by ourselves. We could just remove their reason for fighting you. What? In plain language, please. If we smashed your flame clock, it would alter the equation. If you smashed it? Hmm. Interesting thought. Interesting. Uh, what? Well, now I know you're all jokers. Kite, biggest joker of all. This is why Kite always runner-up in life. No one can take serious with hopeless second-best attitude. <laughs> Shut it, Riku. You, you really know how to hit a man when he's down, don't you? Who is the person we were helping with supplies before? I don't even remember. Why are you back here, anyhow? How'd you worm your way back into Zeon's favor? Meh. No worming performed. We don't need you here. I've had enough of seeing my friends die. Betray me. I can't deal with this dirt anymore. We feel just the same. Which is why we want to do as much as we possibly can to help. That's why we came back. Yeah. You're not fooling anybody. You need not believe them. But they will prove to be an asset. So that's it! You're siding with them in the end! 
You choose Noah over your own lieutenant. Again! That's not what I'm saying. Again? Huh. Don't you realize how hard I'm trying here? Ugh! Oh, whoops. Sorry. <laughs> I didn't mean to complicate matters. His, uh... His frustration seems even more trivialized now. On the contrary, was this not your intent? I would have thought you'd be gloating by now. We can gloat if it makes you feel better. <laughs> na 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 boo boo, your lieutenant's pissed off or something. You can't just judge someone in the heat of the moment. Whatever you might think, suspicion will be cast upon you. That is all I can say. Suspicious or not, isn't it about time you tell us this plan of yours? You said we'd prove to be an asset. I'll continue. Though we have a geographical advantage, our provisions and numbers are limited. That's what the enemy will be banking on. And that's where you come in, as the vanguard. Our sudden appearance will put a spanner in their works, and that'll give you the edge you need, right? Seeing Keves and Agnes bods fighting together and tearing up their front line's gonna throw them off their game for sure. So we've got to fight independently, then. Better than being on a leash, I suppose. You seem to misunderstand. I'm not cutting you loose. You are still being regarded as traitors. Keep in mind that I shall be supervising your every action personally. Sir, yes, sir, Commander, sir. Do you have to? Let it go, guys. I'll send details of the operation to your iris. The plan will commence at once. We're on it. Objection. Not anything that I am against work trying to work with. This is our uh, point where this isn't very far. We'll be arriving presently. It doesn't. Uh, unless I underestimated how long it was. It seems like we're not very far on our way there. Uni? You okay? Just feeling wistful. This is where we went looking for fortune clovers, isn't it? Oh yeah! You really made a big deal out of that. Did not. Just wanted to wish upon one. All the others laughed in my face. Said I'd never find one here. Everyone but you guys and Zeon. You must remember, you're not the kind of guy who makes fun of people when they're trying their hardest. You help people in need. Listen, I know you've been through all sorts of crap, but you don't know the whole story. Oh, I'm sure. There is no such thing as a traitor who rebels without cause. Be it Kevis or Agnes. You've sent many of my comrades off. No. Time and time again, you saved the dead. Help survivors. Even me. I know you do not make light of people's lives. So you understand? I do. But I can never be the friend to you that I once was. You don't give a set tree, do you? I wasn't talking to you, Lance. Excuse me? Maybe we can't go back to the old days. But we can build something new. Leave your platitudes for after. The battlefield awaits. Don't worry. We'll win. No one's dying on our watch. Never again. Time to move. Stay sharp. B -b big promise. Big promise. Very big promise. Well, we can try at least. Uh, they're prepping, that's for sure. Are those transport There's vehicles? A lot of them. This will be a battle of attrition. We can use the terrain for defensive advantage. First, 
We need to hurt their morale. Before that, we need to talk. I'll remain here and fight for as long as I stand. That's also part of the plan. It will be a grueling fight. I won't have time to be looking out for possible deserters. Hold on. Are you telling us to find a chance to escape? I never said that. But this battle should be of little importance to you. Fuck's sake, Zeon. Just how rotten do you think we are? I see where you're coming from. But we're fighting on our own terms. We'll be seeing this through. We owe a debt to Colony 9. Maybe it wasn't for very long, but it gave us somewhere to belong. But not anymore. Just shut it, you! How hard is it for you to accept someone just wants to do a good deed? Eh? Get a clue! I, I, I honestly, he's, he's, uh, it's the passive aggressiveness that's sort of fucking with me from this guy. How often does he need telling not to abandon himself to his feelings? Yeah, you're not doing a great job on that front yourself. Have you given in? <laughs> Still, might as well strike while the iron's hot. Let's go. Oh, it's... Should be fine still. They're not doing much damage to us. Between our healers and use of the Orvor stuff. It's... So... 15 TP upon home reactivation. <laughs> oh, that does sound pretty good. I do just sort of want to see his at this point more than anything. Uh, Defender of the Boom against Armor Veil. I did not sign up for this! Want us to run him down? We aren't here to kill each other. Pull back now, and we won't pursue you. I'll bet you won't. Because you'll be dead. I feel like we could take a couple of those. Lednesses. Always keep your ace in reserve. That's how the game's played. Ugh. Don't falter. We have Kite and the others holding the fort. Yeah. And we'll hold the line here. Whatever it takes. Are you ready, Uni? Oh, they spread out quickly. Yeah, okay, cool. That got a lot of them. Very manageable. <coughs> Squad leader's been hit! Pull back! Why aren't you following them? I told you. I don't want needless slaughter. You're soft, rookie commander. Let me tell you something. You don't win wars while keeping your hands clean. You're gonna learn that. The hard way. You'll see. I guess we will. Don't let it get to you. I wouldn't normally, but in this instance, I'm afraid he struck a chord. I believe I said something similar to you in the past. We were sparring with training swords. You won in the end. I did, because you always held back. That's not true. <laughs> you hated the very idea of fighting. That's how it seemed to me. And back then, I thought you'd never survive with that lofty idea. I was blind. If we don't stand for something greater, strife and conflict will grow ever fiercer. We would end up fighting not for the flame clock, but for our own bloodlust. That is who we are. We 
was never going to be easy. Yeah. I'm still trying to figure out what's right myself. But there's something I want to change. And to do that, I have to change myself. The <laughs> kite and the others pull through, okay? It seems we've averted disaster. For now. This isn't that kid from the flashback, is it? I mean, some of the stuff sounds vaguely familiar, but I might be jumping to a conclusion there. Not quite. There's still unfinished business. Zeon, I want you to understand the things we've seen. The truth about the flame clocks. Just let us explain. After that, we'll let you have the final say. As you wish. It also saves us an awkward silence on the way back. But don't get your hopes up. That's fine. Thank you. I'll round up everyone in the square. But first, to Colony 9. Hmm. I'm gonna do a quick check of my recording for those. One sec. Okay. So, I went and looked back at the footage, and someone did call the guy Garvel. So, no, I don't think it's this guy. He does have similar hair color, as far as I can tell, but... And he also has, like, the little wings. And his eyes might have a similar color. <laughs> so... Yeah. To be determined, I suppose. 